Mike, we're finishing up a truly eventful Oshkosh 2014. Great week, lots of people, lots of excitement, and a kind of a positive vibe. But I understand you've got some positive news to relate to on the sling front. Tell me all about it. Well, uh, Jim, thanks very much. Um, first thing is for us, which is a big milestone, is we've taken uh, up to serial number 250, the two seaters and four seaters combined. So for us, young company, that's a good number of aircraft, and so we're doing very well. We are producing now five ready-to-fly aircraft a month, two-seaters and four-seaters, and up to seven kits a month. It's a huge milestone for us to reach those kind of numbers. And we feel that we've at last broken into the United States. For me personally, this was always my dream, because this is the aviation country of the world by far. I've been in this for 30 years. I've always felt like the United States is where I want to be. A few other things we've got to talk about as well, and that is that our Sling 2 tail dragger. We finished the testing on that, and I can tell you when we first started the test flying of it, I was quite nervous because I hadn't flown tail drag as much, and I've now done lots of time on our tail dragger, and it's just the most amazing, amazing machine to fly. So robust and uh, we've had so much fun with it. And we've, got, we've got the first four orders, so we're very pleased about that. What's happening with the 4 program right now? So with the Sling 4, we finished all the testing. We're in production. We've got 16 flying at the moment. We've taken up to serial number 63 on orders. We've got orders for the ready-to-fly aircraft through until the 18th of January. That's our schedule. Delivering at the rate of two a month. So we're very, very pleased with that. And the Sling 4 is doing amazingly well. The interesting thing for me is that we have to a large degree the market to ourselves. We don't really have competition exactly the same kind of aircraft as we have. Um, it's, a, it's a real four-placer and it runs on six gallons an hour, flies at 120 to 125 knots and um, it's just the most most enjoyable plane to fly. Well, Mike, you've built a great organization. You have great U.S. representation. We've been working with Matt for a while now. He's done a spectacular job for you, represented you well. You've got two solid airplanes that, from all intents and purposes, are above and beyond the typical small, cute little light aircraft. Yeah. Where do you go from here? I like doing development work. So the next thing is we're going to be doing a high-wing Sling 4. Okay. And the reason is, quite simply, there's a demand for it. There's lots and lots and lots of pilots who like high wings. My preference is a low wing, but lots of pilots like high wings, and particularly like in Africa where you've got bush that you're landing in and what have you, and it's hot. So that's the next one. The whole Oshkosh 2014 experience, what has it meant to you? What have you learned from this market this year? Where do you see the U.S. sport aviation movement going based on the interfacing you've done with people here this week? The first observation that I've had is that there's much more confidence this year. We've had an incredible number of people who are coming here to say we're ready to buy, we're feeling good about everything, we're going to spend the money. So I'm friends with a lot of other manufacturers, they say the same thing. This year is fantastic. The other thing is that there's no doubt about it that the light sport industry is maturing. But the biggest thing is that it's growing and it's evolving. And that makes all of us that are in this industry happy. Aero TV is brought to you by 295 and counting. That's the number of lives saved so far by the revolutionary BRS airframe parachute. See and read why BRS can keep you safe at www.brsparachutes.com. Concorde Platinum Series batteries are available for all aircraft and offer extra cranking power, resulting in less draw on the battery per cycle for longer life. Visit booth 2053 at Oshkosh. Concord for the heart of your aircraft. Trig Avionics, presenting the world's smallest certified Modest transponder with matching VHF comm radios that'll easily fit in the tightest panel space. Contact your approved Trig dealer now. Trig, smart, affordable, and future proof. <laughs> 